Welcome to the Fit Cat feature for Run Radio. My name is Trina Wilcox and George Fuller joins me from the Ruck and Run. Welcome. You've been doing this for a while now. I have. This is our eighth year. Eight years running. All right. Tell me about it and how folks can get involved. Yeah. So Ruck and Run started because we want to refocus Veterans Day back to what it really means to honor veterans instead of it being over commercialized. So when you think about Veterans Day, the first thing you might think of is on the TV, you see a sale like it's Veterans Day, come buy a mattress. But really, it's about honoring our veterans. So if we can refocus that, that's uh, where we're we started. And it's also about building camaraderie and connecting the community because we have a fire pit and that's our centralized location. So it brings together the community to to do a tangible event along with veterans and currently serving military and those that have retired. And that way they can do something to engage with them in person. Now, my husband and I were privileged enough to come out a couple of years and join this. And he is former Air Force and really felt a connection with everybody out there. It brought back some good memories for him. And uh, you go along this course and you have an opportunity to either just walk or run straight through, but kind of give folks an idea of what, what they can see and expect when they come out to your event. That's right. So uh, Ruck and Run is a nonprofit organization and we do support veterans here locally and through the registrations um, we donate back to veterans in need. Just recently, we helped a veteran keep the power on in his house, and we are uh, set to donate tons of food to Home at Last, which is a program of the kitchen to help veterans that are homeless or on the verge of homelessness. And our impact also extends into military kids because we award a military kids scholarship, actually three of them. Uh, three students, local high schools, will uh, get or receive the the uh, Hannah's Heroes Military Kids Scholarship. And with the event itself, you can choose to walk it. Uh, we call it rucking. And when you ruck, you're just walking with a backpack, rucksack, or weighted vest that you bring out. You can fill canned goods in there. Or you can put a pillow in there. We don't mind. Uh, but that's what military does. We walk with a backpack. The military doesn't do pillows in there, but we walk with a backpack. <laughs> or we, run, we run, right? So if you're a runner, you're not going to have the the rucksack, backpack, weighted vest. There's stations along the route, um, and there's drill sergeants that are there to help motivate you, to give you a small taste of what military training is all about. And uh, it's just a huge opportunity to, again, engage with them, but also that camaraderie. When you cross the finish line, you've done something significant and you have truly earned a finisher medal and you can connect with other people that have earned that finisher medal. So you can walk it or run it. We have the three distances that require registration. It's a 5.56K, 7.62K, and 11.11. The significance of the first two are the rounds that the military uses is 5.56 millimeter and 7.62 millimeter for our our uh, weapon systems. And then the other one is 1111. As you know, Veterans Day, that's what we're all about. So Veterans Day is 1111. It never changes. It's always November 11th. So we decided to double the 5.56K. And uh, the math kind of doesn't work out if you double it straight, but you're not crossing the finish line that first time. So you're looping around to do that same one again. And if you're hardcore enough, you're going to be able to knock out that 11-11. And then we have finally a free course. It's called the 0.9 mile. And that one just goes again, 0.9. And it goes up to a, the first station. And you can choose to do the station exercises or not and come right back. And that's free. So the stations itself, uh, push-ups and jumping jacks, mountain climbers, bodyweight squats, burpees. You know, we have to throw burpees in there. But mm -hmm. it, again, there's... People there that are motivating you, drill sergeants that are motivating you, ROTC cadets come out and compete from uh, MSU, from uh, Missouri State, from <clears throat> we got recruiting offices that come out from all the branches. We have uh, local units that come out, uh, reserve units, National Guard, and they compete. And we have a, a little competition between branches of the military to see who's uh, the best to come across. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a huge event. And again, that fire pit is our centralized location. It's going to be cold. So it's gonna, it, it draws everybody in, but it's a centralized location. Cause when I was in Iraq, 
uh, after a mission, we decompressed around a fire pit. We were talking about what was going on back home or whatever struggles or man, did you, do you see that guy in that vehicle look suspicious or whatever else? And I recreated that, that ruck and run that first year. And it's been going ever since. And it's become our logo because uh, that fire pit signifies the three pillars of ruck and run is honoring those who serve building camaraderie and connecting the community. V veterans can come around and connect with other veterans and uh, people can connect with other people like general public or the general public can connect with vet veterans. It's going to be a great opportunity for that to happen. Several ways to be involved. And I believe you just ask everyone to donate some canned food items when they come out. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so if you, you right. So with the registrations for the three distances, you'll register online at rockandrun.org, R-U-C-K-N-R-U-N.org. And if you want to just come out and be part of the celebration of veterans, it's free and open to the public. Kind of think of it as have a blast for pumpkin days, uh, but just for veterans, um, to be honored. And that doesn't mean just veterans are invited. The whole community is invited. We have not only the fire pit, but we have free ax throwing this year. We have games, we have pumpkin pancakes from Village Inn. We have got coffee that's being donated from Copper Canyon Coffee Roasters. Just a, again, a, an, a huge opportunity to have the, the public engage with our military. Great. Thank you so much for what you're doing. We appreciate it. And I hope it's a great turnout. Give us the website one more time. Ruckandrun.org. That's R-U-C-K-N-R-U-N.org. And we hope to see you by the fire pit November 12th in Republic, Missouri. Thank you. All right. Take care. Thanks.